Hey guys, welcome back to another scripting video. Today's topic is variables. What are they? Why should we use them? And when should we use them? Okay, so a variable. What is it? A variable is basically something that stores information or a pathway to an item in your game. So I have an example here of it being a pathway to an item in my game. So as you can see over here in my workspace, I have a part under the workspace right here, just a regular part, just click this part right here. And that's what I've got just here. So what I've done here is if you've watched my properties or referencing videos, you will know that to get a object in your game, you have to go game dot workspace dot part. Okay, so imagine you want to change this part's uh, brick um, transparency over and over and over. So you would put a while true do, an infinite loop, uh, wait one, right? And you'd have to do, and you'd have to go game dot workspace dot part dot transparency equals 0 0.1. And then you'd have to do wait one and you'd have to keep copying and pasting this line out 10 times over this is not very practical because that's going to give you 10 extra lines of code which is just not necessary so now imagine if i could tell you you could you could write a pathway to this part just once and you can reference this part every single time you need to use it you could do while true do right uh part dot transparency plus equals 0 0.01 weight 0 0.1 so you see how I've only actually had to write out this write this out one time instead of the 10 times that it would take writing out game dot workspace dot dot um, part so I now I only have to write this out once because I've already written a pathway to this to this part in our script so let's see if it works. Click run. As you can see, it's becoming more and more transparent. And it's completely gone. So what else can what what else can variable variables store? Well, variables can store any number, any type of information, not just pathways. I mean, you can store local number. You can store numbers that do, the local is the syntax for defining a variable local only to the script. Local means that only this script can read and access this variable. So this this writing right here, number, it does not have to be this. This can be whatever name you want your variable to be. I recommend keeping it nice and simple and simple and easy to read and what behavior you can expect from it. So I'm just going to do local. My number is equal to 10. So now I've stored a value number of 10. I can do, I can store strings. So I can do a local string is equal to, and I'm just gonna say, hello there, this is my string. Okay, so now to my string value, remember this here is whatever name you want it to be. I've just named it what it is so I can remember um, where to use it and why. The local again is just defining the syntax for the local variable, only the script can access it, right? That ties into module scripts. If you watch my module scripts video, I'll flash a card to that up in the top right corner. You can also store Boolean values. You can, so I could do local my bool is equal to, and I can do false or I could do true. Also, people use um, service variables like uh, replicated storage, which look a bit like local replicated, local replicated storage is equal to game colon get service. I might do a video about get service sometime in the future. Basically, what get services is, is it just gets any of the number of services in the game world. See players and workspace, replicated first, storage, service script. These are all services. That's what they're known as. You can get them as a service. So you can get players, you can get 
server script service that one up there that serves, holds all the script up but for now for this variable replicated storage we're getting the replicated storage service okay so let's say we want to join into the game and we want to parent our part to replicated storage so we basically want to send it into the replicated storage so transfer its parent so we what we could do is we could set a variable for our part so we can do local part is equal to game dot workspace colon wait for child we're waiting for the item to load into the game and we're getting the item which is named part so now we can do part which is our variable we have it stored we have a path written to it already so all we have to write is part it's much shorter much easier we can do dot parent is equal to our variable which is replicated storage so instead of having to write out game dot replicated storage kind of gets it all of that every time all we have to do is replicate a storage because we have a shortcut to it variables are basically shortcuts to values and integers and things like that and services okay so let's click play and as you can see our parts in the workspace and as soon as we join in the part should be gone as you can see the part has disappeared completely out of the workspace and if I check in the replicated storage, there is our part right there. Also, I want to point out that if you want more further scripting help, then perhaps consider joining my Discord server. It's all about Roblox scripting and helping you guys learn. I'll leave a link to it in the description. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know if you had any problems. But other than that, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time.